get in the end zone and, uh, right off the bat and make that opening drive, uh, not having a rushing touchdown since 2015? Oh, it felt great, you know, just to um, get back out there with, with my team once again. And, um, you know, my, was one of my first runs, and um, it's always big. It's always big and huge to, um, you know, have success when you're one of your first runs, give you a lot of confidence for the rest of the game. So that was, it meant a lot, and it was, it felt good. Do you feel like this, this team is better set up to play? Auburn's kind of chance to kind of ease into it. I mean, last year was just right out of the gate. This year, you know, you've had, you've had a little bit of a warm up for that and a chance to sort of kind of get that season. I mean, yeah. I mean, we um, we go against a great defense uh, every day at practice, so I don't feel like we'll be um, too overwhelmed. But I mean, Auburn is a um, they had a great defense. Um, I've seen a, 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 I watched a few games of them uh, from a little bit of last year in the game they played this um, this past uh, Saturday. But they look good. They're very athletic, and it's going to be a, um, a a great challenge for us. You like having guys behind you, like you know, Tavian. Adam and Travis uh, that, that can go in and, and contribute and kind of take some of the load off you as they refresh the entire game? I mean, yeah, um, those are all great guys, and, and they push me every single day, um, you know, to give it my, my all. And, and, you know, Coach Winnie preaches best as a standard, so, you know, I keep that in mind as well. But, you know, just having some uh, younger guys behind you just pushing you every single day, you know, um, it, makes you, um, it makes you just strive for greatness. How do you feel you did past uh, I didn't. I didn't. I don't feel like I had uh, too many uh, opportunities to uh, pass block this past game. But um, you know, from the, the times I did uh, have a chance to, I feel like I did pretty good. Do you have any expectations of eventually becoming the featured back, or do you think this is going to kind of play out as a, as a running back by committee for most of the year? Oh, uh, we're just leaving it up to the coaches. You know, um, however they feel like we should go throughout the season. Um, just leave it up for them. They got a, a good plan and it's been successful over the uh, past year. So just leave it up to the coaches. Does it make it any more difficult if you, if you feel like you're playing well to kind of get taken out of the game and it's the next man up where you only get maybe 8, 10, 11 carries if that goes on rather than maybe getting 15, 17 and kind of getting the flow of the game more? Uh, no, sir. Um, I don't really uh, take it as that. I mean, um, the coach, he's gonna put the, the, the guy who's hot or who, whoever just doing well. You know, if 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 he feel like that, I need to come out and take a break. Then you know, that's that's up to him. How different is prime time football here than say a new game? Uh, I guess. Um, I mean, it's not really too much of a difference. The fans gonna come out no matter what. You know, it don't matter what time the game is. So the fans gonna be there. I mean, the, it's. I guess you know it, it'll be a little different at nighttime, but I mean, it's pretty much the same. Um, it just, it takes, it, everything just speeds up. You know, uh, you've been, f we've been focusing on Kent State for a long time now and you got to flip the switch, sw flip the switch uh, pretty fast. So, you know, just getting ready and getting locked in on our plan, um, you know, f in a week, you know, it is, it is difficult, but I mean, it's um, something we're ready for. How are you doing that? What are the challenges right now? Uh, just watching more film, um, and just studying, studying the plan the coaches put, put for us. Oh, I feel, I'm very confident. Um, you know, uh, last year, you know, we had other guys to step up and um, make those big plays. But I mean, we're we're the guys now, so we, I feel like that we we have to step up in that role and you know make those plays. So uh, I'm very confident and um, eager to you know for the season. Uh, not really. I mean, um, you know, I feel like we was just eager. Everybody was just eager to come out and prove that, you know, that, you know, we have great guys that left, but we we also have great guys that are still here. So I feel like we were just eager and ready to come out and show that. How do you follow up against Kent State and take it against an Auburn team that's clearly going to provide a much tougher challenge with their physicality and their speed on 
um, you just you just take you know take you know, the success you had from that game and then um, using this confidence and momentum into until the next week. I mean, obviously Auburn is gonna um, you know um, we're gonna it's gonna be a great matchups all over the board. So you know we just gotta take the confidence and, and run with it. Um, I feel like we can be very dangerous. You know, um, we have great receivers, great backs, uh, great, uh, great offensive linemen, and we have a great quarterback as well. So, I feel like when everybody's clicking and, and, um, on this offense, then we can be something, something special. And we also have a great defense behind us and, and great special teams as well. So, how do you keep your focus? Waiting for a night game, a night game all day at home in the hotel. How do you keep that focus and just, I mean, we we got. When it's a night game, you know you actually have, obviously have meetings and stuff, so it's going to keep you help help you lock in. But when you, it's 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 also good to um, relax and unplug a little bit, you know, um, and just get get your create your own focus in your own head. You know, you don't need a coaches coaches um, driving you to get focused. You just just relax and you know you can, it's it's pretty easy for you to um, you know get focused in by yourself, knowing what you have at hand. Uh, we kind of got like a our locker room is kind of I guess like kind of calm. We all everybody has their own air, earphones in, and we all just kind of get ourselves ready for the game. So that's how we do it. Oh yeah. Um, because if if you know a little bit in high school, I really didn't catch the ball as much. Um, you know, running the wing tee. So. I feel like that um, a lot of people didn't feel like that I could catch it, catch, and I just wanted to, um, you know, prove prove a lot of people wrong, and that's something I did work on. Um, to, that's one, something something in my game that I worked on probably the most, um, other than pass blocking, is uh, catching the ball at the backfield, and I um, feel like I'm doing pretty good at it right now. Um, Travis, he's a special guy. I mean, he he has just a natural running ability that um, that you really just you really can't coach. Um, you really just don't see that that often. Um, I just just try to uh, preach to him to stay stay calm and, and everything will come to him. You know, you, obviously you can't teach him how to run or nothing, but you know, with pass blocking, just you're just trying to show him the techniques and, and um, just different things that I had to learn over time that that can maybe help him out as well. Um, I mean, I feel like he, I feel like he, when he got in the game, he was just a little jittery. You know, it's just his first time. I feel like we all, when we all first got in the game, we was just all jittery. And, and the game, the game was probably a little fast for him. But I mean, eventually it's going to slow down and it's going to be, he's going to be special. Tony Elliott said yesterday he's pleased with the development of kind of the big playability from the running back. Um, other than shutting a few pounds, where do you feel like you can improve most in that area? Um, uh, that's probably probably one of the things I probably have to just say, just like losing weight. Um, I feel like that um, I was able to make big plays, but you know, just the weight, the weight I carry, what it just kind of held me back. And then, you know, in the off season, we uh, all the running backs, we just worked on like just doing extra sprints or or, or um, just making the that extra move on the safety, just to just to try to, because coach did preach to us to, um, about making the big plays. So we just we just trying to work on work on that all summer and all fall camp.